Okay, this is why you shouldn't use the marker to protect text in the markup tool. If you have a photo that you want to black out some text to protect uh, someone's identity or something, and you go to edit, and then you go to the markup tool, which is at the top here, but it's also at the bottom for iPhone Pluses. It's the circle with the three dots, markup. You shouldn't use this marker here to block out text because that can be recovered using Photoshop. So I'm going to hit undo. This is not the way to do it. And the reason is because the marker can be sort of erased in Photoshop. It's uh, fairly easy to recover and I'll put up an example here. The one on the left has the marker and the right is using Photoshop to recover the text. If you zoom in on that, it's pretty easy to read. The next example shows the uh, block out box that we used right after this slide. And that's th that can't be recovered, so use that one. So instead, go to the plus and go to the square. Use the handles to uh, change the size and then click this icon and fill it in and that should work. I have to test it using Photoshop and um, uh, the blog post that I read did uh, confirm that this works. If you have any questions or comments, or if you have any video requests, leave a comment below. If you are interested in further iPhone support, you can take a private iPhone lesson or online courses at smartphonelearningzone.com. Thanks.